Hello everybody, welcome to another edition of All Japan Pro Wrestling and uh, today we're doing a charity event for all the men, women, non-binary, everything that have small penises, especially Asians. So, so um, this is a small, so uh, this is a small egg plant charity event, so um, all the money will go into the surgery for people to have to have a bigger penis so with me here is um Quirance and uh, rasta may he use his um soundboard here. <laughs> but yeah i am uh curious of what the heck happened how did we get to this charity event but it's okay i guess because because i feel like we should have a charity event we had a uh, sponsor event for the Asian guys in rice ball, which I found, see, man, I am, I am, I am supporting small businesses, okay. And now you're supporting small penises. Yeah, because bigger is better. <laughs> That's fucked up. Ross, do we like to say anything for the for the audience? Yeah, just in case you know, there was a building out in the opening. Do not walk inside of it. That's crazy. I heard the about that. The last guy who walked inside of it got wiped out of existence. Huh? That's probably because that's. I think from Legends, what I told me that that is one of the main buildings that like uh, sent you to the um, back rooms, probably. Or or he just got fucking obliterated. No fucking crime scene there. Definitely not suspicious. So, um, so shall we run down the uh, card for this uh, five match card? Yes, I can. Mm -hmm. Our first match is the Great Kali versus Curry Man. The second match is a Takata Dojo exhibition where we have Tom Howard accompanied by Nobuhiko Takata facing off against Josh Barnett accompanied by Dan Severn. Then we got some junior heavyweight action where Kentaro Hoshino will face Fansack Acid. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. In the semi-main event, we have main event Jun Kasai versus Hiroshi Tanahashi. And then in the main event, the All Asia Tag Team title will be on the line as the champions Power Warrior and Road Warrior Hawk face off against from Zero One the team of Brock Lobster. Brock Lesnar and Grand Naniwa. Hell yeah. This is going to be a really interesting match. Oh yes, we have five, many matches. Five matches on this uh, charity event. And I would say our next show will probably be not a charity event. Not a sponsor event. But a actual event with the main tiles on the line, hopefully. Alright. So, yeah. That'd be good to see. Because I know there is a lot of big matches that can happen. And here mm -hmm. we are at Yoyogi Gym. And I will say this, I will give an announcement for everybody to go. And there is Exciting Sports, the sponsor for this mm -hmm. charity event. Yep. For small penises. They're definitely not turning into DDC. Yes, yeah, so that, that carry man <laughs> doing the motion of the ocean there. Mm -hmm. But I will say this. I will give an announcement as a member, a part of the um, Panchiverse committee. We are going to. Uh... Why are we giving this man a metador thing? I have no idea. I was not the one who made this great Kali template. It's fucking hilarious, bro. It, it fucking giant Indian. That's who been tooting Koto for you confused. And was stretched. So, um... I'm just saying, I wonder, can can we actually... I wonder, can we actually put, you know, like, models from green and red over the two? Because if we actually have the capability to do that, that would be so cool. I think there's probably some mod makers working on that, because I know we've seen some mods of like say the ring mats are changed like say EWF now looks like an FMW ring 
Yeah, yeah, they're probably all working on that. If so, we'll be able to get um all the superstars who didn't make it. To, yeah, like say Johnny Smith, Giant Kamala, Jimmy Yang, G- Giant Kamala, and I'm sorry, not Giant Giant Singe and Giant Silva, Danny Devine, well, actual models yeah. for Michael Bodison, Donovan Morgan instead of the template C A W templates we get in this game. I don't know. I don't know. For some reason, why I, I, why I do the models look very similar. Uh, well, yeah. we'll just keep those then. No, we have we have to compare the we have to compare the models to each other and see which one. You know, and see it if shouldn't be that play. different. So far, it's a one-sided match here. Uh-oh. No, it's kind of funny. We got a curry man facing off against a Punjabi giant. Who really is the master of curry? A guy Uh who has it in his name? Or a guy who actually lives in the place where curry is most popular? uh, Because the um, the announcement was going to be either uh, December or whatever. We're going to have all... All of the um, world champions from Zero One, Noah, Tall Japan, and uh, New Japan to be in a Fatal Four Way match. Can the winner that championship is going to main event Wrestle Kingdom? So, yeah, that is the announcement. So, hopefully, whoever's champion by then get a chance to main event. Yeah, I gotta say, that's gonna be a great event there. To end the year with a big ol' wrestling celebration. And then we start the year with a big ol' wrestling celebration. Birthday wishes to over these wishes from the fancy. Why do, why do most of them, like... Bro, why all these people look alike? Oh, man. And then, of course, where it says Manju, there's a tear on it, but the tear looks like a big knife. So people name that big knife Manju. That's a great. And there's this kid in the top left who looks traumatized that he got photographed. They put him there. Now, you know Kali how he is this bullying Curry Man here. Big old boot. Oh, he won by choking him out with his fist on his skull. I only, I only booked this because it, it seems kind of beefy to me. Why not? I'm sure Curry Man will understand when he goes backstage and looks at you in gorilla position. Mm-hmm. Now let's see what the All Japan crowd thought of that. Eh, yeah, better than I thought it would be. I'd be a whole 60. Oh, yeah. So, you know how we got uh, SmackDown vs. Raw games to have a um, a uh, definitive edition? Yeah. Like how we got SmackDown vs. Raw 2006 um, definitive mod you know, and all that. What if there's a mod, right, for King of Coliseum? to have a definitive edition where it's just gonna have like everybody not just like um, translated or whatever but but like that's what it the uh, definitive mod is gonna be have everybody and even have some people who is not in the game like from KOC um, green and red. I think that would be the ultimate uh, mod for this game. Yeah. And what color does green and red make? Purple. Make a what? Yeah, blue and red makes purple. I say green and red. Oh, I don't fucking know. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? Green and red don't make a well-known color combination. Oh, hold on. Oh, 
Why are we doing that? We got match two here. I swore I heard blue and red. Green and red makes brown. That's crazy. Yeah, I don't know. If calling it KOC <laughs> brown would make a good combination. I was just about to like say um, we should make a KOC brown. Just fucking, <laughs> just just have green and red combination disc and just you know, like have everybody in. I think maybe it would be smart to call it like gold or something because that way you know it's the gold edition. But apparently green and red, no. Yeah, apparently green Wait a and second, red I fucked this makes up. yellow. Yes, you did. Okay, give me a sec. I I I messed up big time. Let me fix this. I don't blame you, bro. They were told that no, no, no. You got the entrances wrong. Let's fix this again. Motherfuckers said green and red makes yellow. But yellow is a primary color. You can't make yellow. No, you can't. You need yeah, yellow you and blue make... to make green, for example. Yeah, so whoever made whoever made this wheel needs to be shot. Hey, JM. Yo, um, there was this mod. I found this one no mercy mod called Definite the world before i was complaining about how the link was dead and i guess he fixed the link and i've been trying to experiment with this thing mm -hmm. so what? now what i found out was that he made like a bunch of different roster saves right. like so he made like a whole bunch of roster saves like for pride ufc ecw wcw wbf mexico women And since, you know, it's all ROM hack stuff, you know what I mean? Yeah. So if you want to swap roster members out, just, you know, put it, just switch your save, just switch the memory, the memory card. And, you know, and just add them in. Which is one thing I probably, uh... Yeah, the only people who have, know. like, yeah, the only people who would have, like, multiple slots is the people who have, like, multiple gimmicks. Like, yeah. so, you know, your dad, Udo, uh... So Budo would have that, Foley would be one of the few to have that. So not many people have like the whole, you know, one person shares one set character side, you know what I mean? With four costumes. So what mod you was I talking about? It's called WWF versus the World. Oh, uh, okay. Like I finally just got it working. Is that the virtual pro wrestling 64 mod? No. No, 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 this is no mercy. Oh, ah. hey, Tony, welcome. You're just in time for match two at our special All Japan show in KOC2 yeah. Pantryverse. Uh, Skittles, would you like to tell them what this show is uh, special is? It's a small penis charity, you know. Ah, I thought it was a Latinx History Month thing. Yeah. Oh, hey, uh, Pony, I'll show, I'll, I'll, hey, Pony, I'll show you it later. All right. Oh, yeah. It's, it's a small two. penis charity, you know. Uh, and there was another uh, No Mercy hack that I found, and he, he even like Sean just made a video about it, where he where this one person made like a whole like wrestling legends like No Mercy uh, mod hack. That's cool. So you know if you want to finally do Bobo Brazil versus uh, Bruno San Martino, you can finally do it. And not deal with the racism of Vince Senior. <laughs> yes. Good. Or, you know, if you want to use Bobo Brazil and more to just, you know, Fire Pro and Giant Grand. I do not know about Fire Pro, Those but definitely Giant Grand. Well, Bobo Brazil, that's where he made his wrestling game debut, really, in Giant Grand, the third one. Yeah, the the famous Dreamcast one. They were, yeah, yeah. I yeah, don't yeah, remember much about Giant Grand 2, but the first one, that was famous for, you know, promoting Wolf Hawkfield in real life. With uh, Jim Steele taking the role. Yeah, well, well three. The final two, one, uh, three is where they added uh, their legends, where they added the legends roster, and that would be like one of the probably the earliest game that actually used a happy legends roster. Yeah, I know uh, Virtual only... Pro Wrestling '64 and WCW versus the World, if I recall, had those two. Yeah, but I'm talking about if you're looking for legends like Fritz von Erich, Bruno San Martino, Don Leo, Jonathan. Yeah, like, like the, the you know, rarity ones that aren't common. Because, like, if you're doing a yeah. Japanese wrestling game, like, nine times out of ten, the Legend roster will have the Funks, Abdullah the Butcher, stuff like that. 
you know, the, you know, the Destroyer, you know, those would be, that would be the only game they would be in for years. Yeah, like say, Bobo Brazil, John Leo, Jonathan, those are the ones that you don't see often. And if I recall, and Gene Kaniski was there too, wasn't he? Yeah, yeah, he was. Snitsky. Yeah, it wasn't his fault, allegedly. Yeah, it's sad that we don't, we didn't get any Japanese legends there. Well, that we know of. Yeah. Well, in terms of the Japanese legends, well, you know, of course, Ricky Dozon. Oh, yeah, you gotta have Ricky Dozon. Yeah, you know, Ricky Dozon, um, you know, the bonus characters that were only for the console version are like, you know, or like, Cyclops. you know, characters that they wanted to put in, but they couldn't, but they couldn't. So we're gonna make Chono a Cyclops. We're gonna make, we're gonna make Hashimoto the Mangler. We're gonna turn Inoki into a robot. <laughs> That is the weirdest choice ever. We're gonna Still make, uh, shit, we, you know, we, we can't put Hoist Gracie. We can't put, uh, we can't put, uh, this is probably Rixon, probably more than Hoist, I think. Oh, yeah, you Hickson know, was put, definitely the more likely to be put in those games compared to Hoist. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I we think, great. I personally we're think. Him, we're gonna give him the greatest, we're gonna give him some cool gear. We're gonna give him, like, these sick ass shorts. And is and the and the greatest wrestling name that I've been using ever since Divine Grace. Oh. That is, e oh my oh. god! In in and Giant right, Graham two, really in, very unique. Damn. Yeah. In in Giant Graham two, he is a beast in that game. Like he can yeah. he can break all your bones with no effort. They could run. They also, had, um, they, also had, they also had um that yeah, one. We could have done, done, done the textures. We could have done the texture over this. Okay, let Rasta finish his sentence, guys. They also had Andre the Giant in the mask and his tag kind of what this other dude who was just a completely original character. I think I think Crusher was supposed to be Freddy Blassie. I can see that. Freddy Blassie is uh, underappreciated for what he did in like, Japan. Yeah, because Freddy Blassie was known as kind of like the vampire, and you know you're bleeding if you're you're gonna be a lot in a Freddy Blassie match. If I recall, he scared people so like some old people in the crowds of a Freddy Blassie match when they saw the blood, they were so frightened they actually died from like a panic attack. Uh, what a, this is a very intense match we got here. You can run if you want to. Oh, look at that. Are you singing well, the Billy Kidman here, theme or something? <laughs> <laughs> been here, uh, that song no, stuck in my head, bro. We've done the, uh, the Sega Saturn. We've got but, Dragon Screws, Power Bombs. But have you not, like, actually played the Giant Grand game? Because yes. I played it. Listen, when guys, I, and that's just I, fun as fuck, bro. Uh, yeah, it's but basically also, the virtual it, fight, the virtual fighter engine, right? It's weird that they so. couldn't get, like, actually, they couldn't get the, the, the copyright for Freddy Blazzy to be the game. Yeah, I've actually played uh, Giant Graham. I remember when I was, like, when I was younger. Like, when I was, like, in my mid-teens, I would be, like, spending hours playing it. To, you know, just trying to do, like, everything in the history mode. Yeah. Oh yeah, if you get clips from players. those historical mm -hmm. matches if you get the right score and all yeah. that. That was along, a nice egg. Yeah. Along with bonus yeah. content. Part of history mode, after you beat history mode, then you do it again, but this time you're playing as the opponent, the people who lost. Oh yeah. If, yeah. I, if, I, if I remember correctly, what the question of Giant Country was meant to be like taxing? Uh yeah, probably like Giant, well, the giant, let's see, giant pressure was giant machine. Um, I don't know, it was probably giant machine. Our next match here, this is going to be our big draw match because every time we have a match in KOC 2 with Van Sack Acid, we have that one oh. guy who is a big fan of him talk to us about some fun facts. Uh -huh. In fact, if I recall, Jay, you, um, you actually had the actual Vansack Acid comment on one of your videos. Uh, yes, I actually, no, his name, his name was Jane Crusher. It, you have, and to unlock him, you have to, um, you have to beat Arcade Single Mode using the Crusher. Alright. Now, with a Vansack Acid, last time he was on a show, he pulled the upset by beating Dan Severin. Let's see if he can do another one by taking on Kentaro Hoshino. 
in a suit. But I'll say this though, this match is for that fan. Oh, what yes. the hell? Oh, yeah. uh, it looks like Jose the assistant is at CML right now. That's cool. Okay. I can't no, wait honestly, until CMLL raids AAA roster and brings us Nino Hamburguesa. I'm trying to get it. Bro. I'm trying to I get it. I'm trying to get CML because AAA has kind of been like bagging. AAA is a roller coaster. Every time they get a high, immediately they get a down. And it, it's very, it's a very unpredictable promotion. I understand CML that they want to try to expand, but it seems like one step forward, one step back. CML has been on hot streak this year. Yeah, no, CML is you know, you know, very good. Triple A has like the godlike talent, but mm -hmm. here's the problem: they're in Triple AA. Triple AA is that five A's? And Conan and the and Triple AA. Even Russo. Let's go. Let's go. I don't know. El Hijo del Yakuza, baby. Let's go. How did he know in his wrestling gear when he actually has a new set? I know, but I mean, the idea. I picked him. This man like that. Is, serious, is in for some serious business, so I he has wait. to dress to impress. Mm hmm. It's a it's charity song. event. He is serious about this charity event. Hold so on, you, hold on. I got, so hold you up, brought hold in I someone. Hold on. Yes. I got a question. Makai Club versus House of Torture. Who would win? House of Torture. That's a tough one. Um, who is in charge of booking at this time? Because, like, say, if Tadal Yasuda is in the match in, say, 2003. All right, I can answer this one. I know exactly who is booking around this time. Let's see if I, if my memory serves correct, Chono was booking in the two that in the early 2000s. Because the Makai was his idea. Yeah, the Makai Club's winning. Are, are it depends sure? on are who's sure in the match. Thought, like, if Tadal Yasuda idea. is in it, and this is 2003 atmosphere, they're going to try to book Yasuda to win LOL. <laughs> oh, uh, but I'll if this is, say, 2004 afterwards atmosphere, I could see it being more even. <laughs> also, of course, Murakami... <laughs> Basically, it goes down to who's eating the pin. Is it going to be Yujiro Takahashi, or is it going to be... Let's go! Ryushi Yanagi-sama. Oh. Okay, now I have myself a question. Or Makai number two. Why is Vansack Asset fighting a Yakuza member? It's for charity. He's not, he's not just any Yakuza member. He is, he is officially... El Hijo del Yakuza, baby. Let's go. <laughs> he is the newest character here in all Japan. Mm hmm. I can't oh, wait for Tiger Mask Mafia. Very well. I can't wait for a Tiger Mask Mafia, baby. Let's go. Tiger Mask Mafia. <laughs> is, his, is his tiger stripes and color scheme just going to be changed to the Italian flag? Oh, God. He, I have to say. He comes see. out to the Sopranos theme song. Nah, man, he comes out to the Godfather's thing. Oh my gosh. And yes, man, talk your shit, bro. Talk your shit. He, he <laughs> speaks in Japanese, but he tries his best to do a Marlon Brando impersonation. Nah, man. Do not tell Course this, I'm actually eating nah. at the moment. Nah. Oh, I, have, I have to say nah, this. He has, a, um, he has an Italian accent that speaks Japanese. Oh, so like. I have to... <laughs> uh, Hold on. Hey guys, hold on. I found, I found it. I just gotta find the right the sentence. Give me a sec. Right. Yo, bro, he, yo, he, yo, he is whooping ass right now. I know. Which is even I mean, crazy. you gotta book a guy yes, sir. with a Stomp debut ass out, gimmick bro. strong. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, Coley. he just punched oh. him. He punched him in the throat, baby. Let's go. <laughs> He's showing him how to really wrestle. <laughs> Well, come yeah. to me on the day of the small penis charity event asking for a favor. I say you got dead wrong. Who is this only chun, son? You think you have what it takes? Van Sek Asset, my I... like slapjack ass boy. I'm gonna kick your ass. I'm gonna drown you in the fucking ocean, son. I'm gonna show you some new concrete goulashes after this okay, day. I, I punch you and you're bleeding. My cat is meowing. Right, so he became so he was he Shono was briefly Booker in two thousand three. 
Okay. Ooh, uh, Centon. Almost. Do you think that fucking move will beat me? No, so Another Centon. Spawn Ton Acid. <laughs> Laha Mistral. And he did it. What a fun match that was. Hmm. We all yep. learned, like, he got him to bleed. He Congratulations. Up. I'm still part going of the over. I may get the pin, be pinned, but I'm still going off. strong. The main situation would be Booker again by 2005. I think it's German afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> German out the ring to the point he's not even there no more. Yeah, the, he, the, the German suplex was that devastating. He just disintegrated. You know what? I'm going to start a new faction. The, uh. The, what uh. Be called? The um, Mafia Club? Ah, uh, man. The uh, Hoshino Family. <laughs> Hoshino Family. There's. The Hoshino Family. Oh my god. This <laughs> is this gonna be our own Yakuza clan? <laughs> It's gonna be my bullet club, baby. <laughs> the Hoshino Club. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I welcome our new Hiho to Yakuza overlords. Hell <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you be Hoshino, if you be Hoshino, then gain his respect. If he busted you open, you're part of the clan now, bro. Sansek Acid is. So not only did Yakuza Boy no lose. He fuck your Suzuki a tag team with the man he lost to. Yes. Fuck your Suzuki gun. It's all about the um, Hoshino family, baby. So. <laughs> well, I have to say, imagine, imagine if a wrestler um, had a mute die gimmick, uh, Drew had a mute die gimmick today. That would be dying. Yeah, probably. <laughs> you know, I just thought of something. His mm -hmm. entrance theme would have Vin Diesel say, Wrestling um, has only one Hoshino family. <laughs> and then nah. this theme song plays. Nah, here's how it starts, right? The fucking code was intro, Doom Doom. Family. <laughs> <laughs> here's a story of a man named Hoshino. <laughs> no, no, wrong theme song. Don't use the Brady Bunch. Mm. Oh my gosh. Family. I don't know about you, but Tell Japan is definitely yeah, does well, some great creative strides Call here. the cops when you see Hoshino. <laughs> and now here it comes, Main Event Juke Kasai and uh, Hiroshi Tanahashi. This would be a crazy match in real life. Like, Prime oh, yeah. Jun, like Prime Jun Kasai against Prime uh, Hiroshi. Tanahashi. Yeah, it'll be... Oh, yeah. It will be... It'll be crazy. It'll be a great match. You just have fucking Jun over here. It's... Jump off ladders and then Tanahashi like, you know what? I'm gonna meet your style. I'm gonna meet you halfway. <laughs> I fly <laughs> flow off a table. Yes, off the table. To off the, the table. announce, off the ring table, onto the ground. He's like, I don't want to go off the top rope. I'm gonna show him I'm hardcore by doing this. I'm like, it doesn't look as impactful, but it's outside the ring, therefore it's hardcore and more devastating. Look That's Sonata, wrestling bro. logic right there. Hey guys, look, it's fucking Sonata. <laughs> I will say though, Sonata's new look, I like, I think him joining just five guys has really helped his career out. He was about to turn into four again. Five guys. And then he went back to five. That's yeah. Crazy. I hear they're making very good hamburgers out there. Uh -huh. Yoshinobu Kenama will betray them only for him to now be a jobber. Well, I mean, considering his age, there's not much he really can do anymore. The once Noah Jr. Ace. Well, not I a mean, good ace. Not a good ace. he can't be an ace forever. Yep. Like, even Jushin Liger had to step down and let, and basically. Wow you know, let others ascend and help them ascend. You know, like, say, a Sherpa guiding you up Mount Everest. I I still have to say, um, I, I have to say, even though Liga wasn't the focus of the Junior Division anymore, they still gave Liga belts. Yeah. Mainly there is, like, to help elevate people by, like, saying, oh, he beat Liger, that means he's great. Kind of like how people... 
when they beat The Rock, when he was like a five-time champion. But then again, like four of those five times he lost, it went to the Triple H jump. That's probably not the best example now that I think of it. There's an, honest, there's an honest reason why. There's an honest reason why when, whenever people think of the Attitude Era, Triple H will usually cause Triple H will usually be the last thing they usually say. Yeah, I mean they tried to make him, but in the end, I think he had the rough, like a little rocky start because you know how some people, especially during the Reign of Terror era, were very against him. Oh yeah, the Reign of Terror. That this was man, cool. this man wouldn't go the fuck away. I like brother, you tore your fucking groin, okay? You can barely walk. You can barely bump. And you're over here burying everybody. I will oh, give credit yeah. to Triple H though. He did finish that match when he tore the quad. You also need to take into consideration where Triple H was at in during his reign of terror. I mean, start off in ninety six. He got himself fucked over by a bunch of guys just being like, hey, we're going to do a curtain call. Oh, yeah. Then you got the issue of him losing to the Ultimate Warrior in less than two minutes. Then you got Pony, that pig slap way, match. Oh, wait, wait, Pony. Either way, he was never going over Warrior. Nobody was going over Warrior. Heck, the only way Gold does beat Warrior was through a fuck finish by like, just a count out. But even then, Warrior still looked like he was the winner because... He didn't take any damage from gold dust. But to get back to my point, until Michaels retired, Triple H was just nothing more than a second rate lackey. Uh, he was an upper mid carter. Like he had feuds with Mankind, Dude Love, Owen Hart. He then of course the ninety eight feud with the was... Rock. But like I said, until Shawn Michaels retired, he was basically just a second fiddle to Michaels. No, he wasn't. Because he was feuding with upper and main event guys in the, in, around, in the 90s. In the late 90s. And then 99, that was when he was starting I to said transform. I said until Michaels retired. Oh, 98. Yeah, you got That's a point on that a bit. So if I remember, the 96 Rumble, if I, that yeah, that was the one where Triple H was in for like almost 50 minutes if i recall if i remember correctly i think he was supposed to win that one yeah but Shawn michaels which, which wins which i think actually makes more sense booking wise no yeah but i can't remember if, if the original plan was for triple h to win no 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 it was not the 96 rumble triple h was supposed to win the 98 rumble i could see him winning the 98 rumble but I think having Stone Cold win the 98 yeah, Rumble, Rumble and Shawn Michaels the 96 were smarter in the end. Yeah. yeah. I remember hearing rumor that if, you know, the current call thing didn't happen, Triple H would have won either the 97 or the 98 Royal Rumble. Originally. I know he's supposed to win the 96 King of the Ring, but that went to Steve Austin instead. Ooh, counter on the roll-up almost won the match there. Anyway, continuing on the Triple H stuff, everything was normal for him, like... From 98 all the way to 2002 when Hogan decided to exist again. I would say, no, he was upper mid card, but then by 99, he was definitely ascended to the main event. Yes, but, but by I 2002, think, I think, I think he made... Problem, I think the main problem was that is that, like, uh, him trying to be, like, be, like a band against Chris Jericho is that the thing was booked for him. Oh, yeah, the feud with Chris Jericho in 2002 could have been far better than what we were given. And also, them main eventing over Rock and Hogan, that was the, the wrong decision, because the crowd would... The, basically, the after that match with Hogan and Rock, the crowd did not care anymore. And, of course... Uh, no, no, no. The Triple H... Look and see. No one is ever going to let that go. And then, of course, like Triple H... I was going to ask, what did JM say? He said something about Booker T being buried by Triple H. Oh, yeah. no, Nobody will forgive Triple H for that match. A character assassination of Booker T. Yeah, like, you were booking everything to show, like, Booker T was going to have that WrestleMania moment. But then that, like, people who say they don't like WrestleMania 19 and people are like, what do you mean? They point at that finish. Ah, like, uh, yes. Is, like, what could have been a 10 out of 10 WrestleMania is now a 9 out of 10 WrestleMania because of that match. Jun Kasai with the and win over Tanahashi. Still one other words. Match. Kasai and racism won. 
Wait, what? The uh, Triple H Booker T feud. Oh, Wait. that's what you meant. Okay. I thought you were saying, like, Junka Sai is a racist or something. I mean, just I because he thinks oh, Donkey Kong Country is a great video game doesn't mean he himself 89. is, like, some racist or something. But match of the night right there. Uh huh. I told you, you deserve that main event spot. So. Oh, yeah. And now, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> You know what? No time. I'm gonna be a daredevil. I'm gonna be a daredevil. I'm gonna give Jun Kasai a triple crown championship. Oh, cool. You know you can't unless he's free weight. Well, let's find out. You have to change his weight to free weight, and and because Junior's unallowed to complete for the triple crown championship. Oh no, Jun Kasai can't compete. Well, I guess you could say he gets like a world tag team shot or maybe a junior shot. No, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, if, you, if, if Skittles wants that Triple Crown Champion to happen, then change Junior besides weight to free weight. That oh, way no, he'd be available for Triple Crown Championships. Like how Hayabus is like, you know, has junior matches, but is also available for a world championship matches. Well, I guess we'll decide on what type of title Jun Kasai can compete for in the future. Because I want to I mean, then Jun Kasai to just have this moment to shine before the year ends. Uh, he's getting a moment to shine, all right. He's going to get some gold. But until then, it's time for the main event. New Japan versus Zero One for an All Japan belt at a small penis charity event. Wait, what? Big what, Asia. What was my promotion involved in this? Because uh, you're the all Asian Lester, <laughs> right? the all Asia tag team title. Yeah, baby. You can't that's run right. from this, bro. Oh, that's right. You took the titles. I, I forgot about that. Because, like, I made the belts to be more of, you know, all Asian. So basically, anybody from the Asian countries can. <laughs> Come. I think you mean, I think you mean the IWGP all Asian title. Oh, oh boo! The you crowd is man. booing at that. Nah, man. <laughs> These belts are for more oh, than one promotion. You see, you see IWGP screen painted on the title. Oh, wow. I Tonight on for, Boo This Man. I can't wait for um, Noah Stars to win it and they call it the the GHC <laughs> zero one wins it. They call it the NWA. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone the and Boy then of course Z. World Japan. They call it the WMG. Mm -hmm. Everyone gets spray painted soon. It's so spray painted that nobody knows what the, the original IW, belt looks like anymore. The IWMG belt. <laughs> oh, oh, here so we yeah, go. Oh. I forgot Kawada is Kawada is our new WMJ champion, no longer for Yuki. Oh, that's right, and him and Tawei, right, are the future main event? Yep. I'm working to see if Kota Fuyuki can make it back into the main event. Because I know <laughs> Kota Fuyuki, he somehow managed to get the, a lot of the best crowd reactions next to your, the Fatal 4-Way matches. But either way, here we go. Yo, you want to know, you know what I saw earlier? What was that? Somebody actually made a DMNT Logic version of Vader when he was in the UWFI. Oh, cool. Super Vader, I believe he went by the name of. Yeah. Well, Super Vader, when he was doing UWFI stuff, he's available. You can actually get him now. Okay. I'm not speaking of with uh, Brock Lesnar. Uh, with Rasta, Brock Lesnar. When are we going to see the return of the King of Deadass Tournament? Soon for the people who soon for the people who um you know for the like you know DM me DM me uh super DM me your listeners who you want to be in. Oh, it's, okay. it's mainly it's going to be mostly WJ people, but we're gonna select a few from the in respective promotions about people who you want to see you know like main eventers who aren't getting you know a much of a steady fast push you know so. So each promotion sends like one guy? Yep. You send one guy. 
And if that guy wins, he gets a future title shot for the WMJ Championship. All right. Last year's winner is Kenichiro Chanaru. Will he be the, the honor, like the guy who is honored by giving the trophy to the winner and even to give a promo in his raspy voice? Uh, he did his like oh, yeah, now. I don't know about you, but that's a great idea. Guy who has a hard time yeah. talking, be a promo oh, master. Ah! Yo, we got an official release date for Earth Defense Force 6 uh, next spring. Hell yeah! Good. Get West release, and that is going to be the Pantry Co-op game. Hey, all right. We are going to fight for protect the Earth. Hell yeah! Now, with this We're protect match, them from those communists. Brock Lesnar basically has to defend this team all by himself. <laughs> it, it's like watching Brock Lesnar and Spike Dudley as a tag team. One of these things is going to get their ass handed to him, and the other Have is Brock Lesnar. Brock just Brock Rose for the Spike Dudley. I remember one time when playing Here Comes the Pain season mode as Steven Richards. It was like to see how far I can get with the worst wrestler in the game. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Port your dream about to retain these titles. Are you sure about that? Never underestimate the power of simulations, especially with Brock Never Lesnar underestimate involved. surf and turf. That's, right. That's going to be the tag team finish move that they've made up. Yes, surf and also, turf. Also, I remember having a Yuji Nagata, Kendo Kashin defend the tag team titles against Kawada and Taichi. And Kawada Taichi won. The fuck? And that was like 2019 simulation I did that's on YouTube. Somewhere. You know how two won one um, well tag team belt only to immediately lose them to Arashi and Fuchi? That's crazy. Like, no, because like the bad, that wasn't even a match. Arashi just straight up, it was just straight up Arashi and Fuchi just slamming and kicking them in the face. Yeah, they were bullying young boy. Then if I recall, they would lose, or no, it was Turmeric Storm won them, and then Arashi Fuchi won them. Yep. And then I think they lost to Taioke and Buchanan. He was all like, hold on, wait a second, we need to ride along here. Turmeric Storm never won a belt. In, his, in real life history. Oh yeah, but that they're was like, fixed with that like, match. It never, they're like, it never happened. It never happened. Come on, Nana. Nana, 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 Nana was getting jumped. Nana was with a dropped hole hold there. He's fighting back against these guys, but he is definitely the underdog in this match, or the undercrab, whatever you want to call him. Look at him. Well, there's too many... Well, just keep him away from a woman. Oh my god. <laughs> Brock what do you mean keep not running away from a woman? Brock Lesnar doing the scariest thing ever, running at people. It's horrifying. There's a Remember, reason why Nani he's not Wai allowed in the NFL anymore. Naniwa is a crab. Mm -hmm. You want to surf and turf? And keep... And you know crabs are bad on people, right? Because they pinch Well, you, it's actually funny. Grand Naniwa, who's a crab man, is in the main event of a, a charity show about small penises. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Everyone in this match has crabs. Especially the winners. It doesn't matter mm -hmm. if, if the Hellraisers win the match. They have to get tested afterwards. <laughs> and let me tell you, it's going to be positive. So far, the crowd is into this. Brock Lesnar getting superplex twice in a row is crazy. Well, I mean, you gotta think fourth dimensionally. What's the best way to take on a Crow Magnon? And there's a double power bomb. So how does Grand oh. Naniwa respond? Come on, Naniwa, you got this. Oh, with an elbow drop to the spine, the lower spine, the most dangerous part of the spine to have hurt. Oh, oh, a snap suplex. 
he's slapping because he's gonna be slapping his cheeks. Is this the closest we could ever get to like a brand of warfare? <laughs> so far. Damn. Oh, a two. Got a bit to go, but Road Warrior Hawk is and forgot Road where he Warrior was supposed Warrior. to be and left. Oh, Power Warrior is unstoppable so far. Road Warrior Warrior, baby. Suplex. He's pinning him after a th he almost won from that fuck finish. He won with a scoop slam. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck? He pinned Brock Lesnar with a scoop slam. A fucking scoop slam. That is one of the most disappointing finishes you could make in Who simulations this like this. I don't know. I was hard, but I don't. Oh, well, we got a 1333. Crowd was upset. They wanted Grand Naniwa. They're the chanting refund or throwing confetti in the ring. They're that upset that just like they're Hulk, trying. Just like Hulk Hogan posing in the ring. It's so yeah. Pretty. yeah. Look at that, they're throwing confetti. How angry are they? We have raised. Who's next in trying- oh wow. I, I thought there was a good occasion there. Wait a minute, that's not confetti, that's tiny condoms! Oh my gosh! That is Man, even throw worse! throwing condoms in the ring! That's a very abstract way of saying fuck you. We have raised. Well, at least it's not flying dicks. A good amount of money to stop. We have raised a good amount of money to fund the research on how to grow your penis naturally. Okay. Yeah. Now he's trying his best to not break. I don't know how to react to that. He's literally struggling right now. <laughs> Get that dick out of your mouth, show? Val! <laughs> Guys, this is a small piece of charity, so we raised enough money to start on the research, bro. <laughs> I guess I'll tune in next time when we go see Zero One. Tune in one. next time when we go to Zero One. Did we do the Noah show? Yeah, we did last week. Yeah, okay. yeah, we did that last week. Because uh, because you weren't because you weren't because you were unavailable. Yeah. But, um, tune in next week for the for the zero one on the aftermath and how Brock Lesnar lost. <laughs> he didn't. Scoops, <laughs> I have to say, hey, good, for, good, for, good for AW allying with CML. Triple A, yeah, they're gonna need. They're gonna. Well, they have they have NWA, so. All right. Mm -hmm. uh, what was everyone's match of the night? I'm gonna say Lesnar. Fucking course he did. Um, Jun Kasai Hiroshi Tanahashi for me. Yeah. That was a, that was a battle. Very good battle. That's going in the High Spots DVD website collection. All right. Well, I guess that uh, any closing words. Tune in to uh... <laughs> tune in to uh... the a Pantry's uh... talk show backstage, or um... I don't know. <laughs> But yeah, this is it. <laughs> I don't know anymore. We're just in the fucking recording right now. <laughs>